This is a CBS 2 update. I'm Dick Brennan. An emotional ceremony at the September 11th Memorial Museum today marked 25 years since the first attack on the World Trade Center. Six people, including four Port Authority employees and an unborn child, were found killed after a truck bomb detonated below the North Tower. More than a thousand others were injured. A moment of silence was held at 12:18, the exact moment the attack happened. The deadly flu epidemic claims the life of a third child in Connecticut. Six-year-old Demarcus Stanley White from Colchester died on Wednesday. His obituary says consequences of influenza. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help the family. His death comes after six-year-old Emma Splan and 10-year-old Nico Malosi's deaths from flu complications. A woman who was badly injured after a tree fell on top of her and her children last year shares her story for the first time. 39-year-old Ann Monarchy says she and her three sons were walking through Central Park in August 2017 when an elm tree fell on top of them, pinning them to the ground. Monica suffered a fractured vertebrae and a concussion while one of her sons suffered a fractured skull. She was unable to return to work and will be in danger of paralysis for the rest of her life. Since August 15th, 2017, our lives are forever altered. I work every day to, um, you know, stay positive for my boys and my husband. And, you know, I, I really am so, so lucky to have great family and friends around and have such an unbelievable support system. I'm just trying to make sure that my boys are, you know, have tr as normal as possible. But it's a lot of change for us. Monica has filed a lawsuit against the city and the Central Park Conservancy. The family is seeking $200 million in damages. Well, here's something you don't see every day. Priests at the Vatican had an impromptu snowball fight after unusual snowfall covered St. Peter's Square. Wow, that is so beautiful. In other parts of Italy, you can see the group of priests from the Gregorian University forming the perfect snowball before pelting it at each other. Wow, look at that snow coming down. The rare amount of snow closed schools and some metro stations around Rome. Now here's John Elliott with our forecast. Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and a better afternoon is waiting for you. 55. I mean, we've got our work cut out for us. Not going to sugarcoat that, but yeah, we get a little bit of sun in here, get a little change in the wind, and the numbers are already trending warmer than they were. But yeah, it looks better this afternoon. It looks great tomorrow. Tuesday, terrific. Sun soaked, 55. You know, the normal high is about 44 this time of the year. Another nice one Wednesday. Watch for clouds to fill in, and then the plot thickens, and it may sicken. Strong storm Thursday into Friday. All right, John, thanks very much. We'll let you CBS 2 News update. Stay with us online on social media and on TV for the very latest. I'm Dick Brennan.